Hello. Uh, just doing another video, which I haven't done in a while. This is a new controller of mine. It basically looks like a Western Fisher. And I'm going to explain to you how to turn it on and off and what it does. This one's an auto plow version. Um, okay. I'm not a video guy, so bear with me. All right. First thing, when you, this thing can handle your lights, if you have auxiliary lights, or if you want to turn on your headlights, like on a Hineker, they use a button on a controller. So in order to do that, what you do is you just tap the power button. What that does, it turns on a relay inside here, which turns on, sends power to your relay and turns on your lights, and you'll see the float lights blinking that indicates that it's not fully powered on it's just the lights are powered on the controller itself is not powered on it doesn't do anything but this will turn on your lights without turning on the controller then if you hold the button in which is your normal setting your power light will come on your lights will still be on and then the controller will work now this controller works like your typical straight blade controller as far as the main buttons the features it does has if you all the way left and you want to go to the right all the way without screwing around you double tap it or double tap left and the down is the same way you could just tap it down part way or you could double tap it and go instantly to float you could also hold it to go instantly to float and you can double tap for up also all right, now the key features are here. There's the first goofy button. It's your shake button. That's if you got snow on your uh, on your plow. What it does, it raises it for a second. And then it shakes the truck, but shakes the snow. And that works depending on the speed of your plow and uh, motor and all the parts. It'll shake worse or less. My brother's it really rocks his fisher. All right, now the next function is an auto plow function, which is the main feature here. If you hold the button once, it puts you in a back drag mode, which means when you put it in back drag, when you put your truck in reverse, it'll drop the plow. And you back drag what you have to off your garage. You get to the back and forward, plow goes up, go for another swipe. This is like the Meyer version. Meyer does this. But I added a feature here, which Meyer does not have. And it's if you want to move the plow left or right, you can use your blinker. You just give it a tap to get it left or right. If you give it a double tap, it'll go all the way left or all the way right just tap it now different plows are going to react slightly different if you leave the blinker on depending on the speed of your flasher it might think it's going to double tap so you have if you leave the blinker on it might flicker like this as long, until it's done or it might just go automatically into double tap this truck the left and right blinker are a little bit different for some reason and that's why you see the difference now the next one is this, like I said, this is back drag. Plow goes down when you hit reverse. And then up when you hit drive. So like I said, you could do a whole driveway, a whole parking lot without touching the controller. The next mode is your regular plow mode. You have to hit the button again. And you'll see right now the yellow light is blinking. That's the back drag mode. I hit the, again, the yellow light green light the float light will come on that means you're in regular plow mode so now when you go in reverse plow raise you back up to your end of your driveway or wherever you're going set your angle your plow and then drive you go forward you can change your plow while you're going to get to your end of your load it'll raise and go back right
basically like I said you can do the entire driveway a little further down without ever using the controller once you get used to it I guess And then you hit it again and it takes off auto mode and then you go back into regular mode now while you're in auto which is the old version of this even if it's in auto so you can also use the controller if you want to do your right and left which is how my old version worked controller for full control. This one you don't have to worry about so much about it sticking like the shifter because like I said the blinkers and the wiring and the blinkers and the flasher speed and everything else those are a little bit of a factor in the auto blinker. Okay now we're in the second mode. Now we're out of that mode. Power it down. You just hold the red button. Hold the button down. The lights will go out if you had them on. If you have them wired in not on. So that's basically how that one operates. Uh, I also have it available in a 4-pin and a 10-pin V. And a 4-pin straight blade. But that one looks a little different. That's a boss style handle. Because I need space for more buttons. But it works on the same principle. I'll have to do a video of that one to show which lights do what. Because I actually have four lights on this one. I have one separated. This one's got just the three lights. Also, when you do turn it on, I forgot to mention, you can't see it, but the backlight, the four main buttons do light up when it powers on. When it powers off, all you see is the little logo lit. That way you know you have power going up there. Well, that's how it works. If you have any questions or comments, the uh, best thing to do is email me direct. And that's repairs1 at ptd.net r-e-p-a-i-r-s with the number one at ptd.net because I don't check get my video uh, emails very well through YouTube so best to get me direct the other email is plowcontrollers at twc.com alright thanks for watching